Ever wondered why some millennials are financially independent while others struggle to make ends meet? Well, the answer often lies not in the size of their paycheck but in the way they manage their money. It's not about how much you earn, rather it's about how well you can manage what you have. Today we're going to dive into the murky waters of finance and explore some of the most common monetary missteps that millennials make. Yes, we're talking about those pesky pitfalls that can turn a promising financial future into a nightmare of debt and missed opportunities. And why is this important? Well, because understanding these mistakes is the first step to avoiding them and setting yourself on the path to financial freedom. Now, we all know that money doesn't come with an instruction manual, and that's why it's so easy to stumble and fall. But the good news is, with a little bit of knowledge and a lot of discipline, you can avoid these mistakes and build a strong financial foundation for yourself. In the duration of this video, we will be covering four main areas where these monetary missteps often occur. These are the debt dilemma, the saving shortfall, investment ignorance, and budget blunders. Each of these areas represents a common challenge that millennials face when it comes to managing their money. But don't worry, we won't just be highlighting the problems, we'll also be providing practical and creative solutions to help you navigate these financial hurdles. Remember it's never too early or too late to start making smart money decisions. Your age doesn't define your financial literacy, your actions do. So whether you're a fresh graduate who's just starting out or someone who's been in the workforce for a while, this video is for you. So what are these monetary missteps that you should be cautious about? Let's dive in. First on the list, we have the debt dilemma. Let's dive in. Debt can be a double-edged sword. On one hand, it can help you achieve significant milestones like a college education or home ownership. On the other hand, if not managed properly, it can snowball into a financial nightmare. Imagine credit card debt as a tiny snowflake. It seems harmless at first, but as it rolls down the hill of high interest rates, it quickly grows into an uncontrollable snowball. Before you know it, you're buried under a mountain of debt, struggling to make minimum payments. Then, we have student loans. They are like the big brother of credit card debt. They're often necessary to pursue higher education, but they can linger around for years, even decades after graduation. And let's not forget about personal loans, which can be a quick fix for immediate needs but can result in long-term financial strain if not managed correctly. So how can we navigate this debt dilemma? Here's a three-step plan. First, prioritize your debts. High interest debts like credit cards should be on top of your list. These are the snowballs that grow the fastest. Paying these off first can save you a lot in interest payments. Second, consider consolidating your debt. This means combining all your debts into one lump sum, often with a lower interest rate. It's like trading in a bunch of snowballs for a single manageable snowman. Finally, create a budget and stick to it. It's the compass that will guide you out of the debt wilderness. Allocate a portion of your income to debt repayment and make it a non-negotiable part of your monthly expenses. Remember, debt isn't necessarily a bad thing. It becomes a problem when it's not managed effectively. It's like a powerful tool. In the right hands, it can build great things. In the wrong hands, it can cause significant damage. Remember, the goal is not to eliminate debt, but to manage it effectively. When you do, you'll find that the debt dilemma isn't so much a problem, but a stepping stone on the path to financial freedom. Next up, we have the savings shortfall. Picture this, you're cruising along the highway of life when suddenly you hit an unexpected pothole. Maybe it's a sudden job loss, a hefty medical bill, or a critical car repair. Without a safety net, these financial hiccups can turn into full-blown crises. That's where savings come in, they are your financial airbag, cushioning you from the harsh impact of life's unexpected expenses. Living paycheck to paycheck is like driving without an airbag, you're just one financial mishap away from disaster. In fact, a recent survey found that nearly half of all Americans would struggle to cover a $400 emergency expense. That's a concerning statistic, considering life is full of surprises, and not all of them are pleasant. Now let's shine a light on the benefits of having an emergency fund, this is a stash of money set aside to cover the financial surprises life throws your way. It's not just about having money for a rainy day, it's about having peace of mind. With an emergency fund you can face unexpected expenses without going into debt or sacrificing your basic needs. But savings aren't just for emergencies, they're also the key to securing a comfortable retirement. The earlier you start saving for retirement, the more time your money has to grow. Thanks to the magic of compound interest, even small amounts can add up over time. 
You might think that retirement is a long way off, but remember, the future has a funny way of arriving unannounced. To sum it up, savings are more than just a financial safety net. They're your ticket to financial freedom and peace of mind. They allow you to weather life storms without sinking and to plan for a future that's not just about surviving, but thriving. Start saving today, even if it's just a small amount. Every penny counts. Third on our list is investment ignorance. We've all heard the phrase, make your money work for you, right? But what does it really mean? Well, it's all about investing. Investing is the process of allocating money in the expectation of some benefit in the future. It's the key to financial growth and wealth accumulation. But here's the kicker. Many of us are held back by common misconceptions about investing. Let's debunk a few. First up, you need a lot of money to start investing. That's a myth. With the advent of micro-investing platforms, you can start investing with as little as the price of your morning coffee. Next, investing is like gambling. Not true. While both involve risk, investing is about making informed decisions based on research and analysis. Gambling on the other hand is purely based on chance. Finally, investing is only for the financial gurus. Again, a misconception. Sure, it helps to have financial knowledge, but with a plethora of resources available online, anyone can learn the basics of investing. Now let's shift gears and talk about how to start investing. First, define your financial goals. Are you saving for a down payment on a house, retirement, your child's college fund? Your goals will determine your investment strategy. Next, educate yourself. Read books, listen to podcasts, take online courses. The more you know, the better decisions you'll make. Then start small. Remember, you don't need a lot of money to start investing. What's important is developing the habit of investing regularly. Lastly, diversify your investments. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Spread your investments across different asset classes to minimize risk. Remember, investing is a marathon, not a sprint. It's about long-term growth, not overnight success. Investing may seem intimidating, but with the right knowledge and approach, it can be a game changer. Last but not least, we have budget blunders. And oh, how we blunder, we've all been there making those financial faux pas that make our wallets weep. But here's the good news, we can learn from our mistakes. The importance of having a budget cannot be overstated. Simply put, it's a financial game plan. It's your personal playbook for how to spend and save your money. It's like a diet for your wallet, ensuring you don't overindulge in spending, but also that you're getting enough savings to keep your financial health in check. But just like a diet, a budget only works if you stick to it. And that's where many of us trip up. We either underestimate our expenses, or we don't adjust our budget when our financial circumstances change. We're like a ship captain who keeps sailing in the wrong direction even though the winds have changed. One common mistake is not accounting for all expenses. And no, we're not just talking about the big bills like rent or mortgage payments. It's the small everyday expenses that often trip us up. You know those tantalizing takeout meals, the impulsive online shopping sprees or even just the daily coffee run. These small purchases may seem insignificant on their own, but they add up over time. And before you know it, they're throwing your budget off course. Another common blunder is not adjusting the budget when necessary. Life is unpredictable and our financial circumstances can change in the blink of an eye. Whether it's a job loss, a medical emergency, or even a global pandemic, we need to be ready to adapt our budget to new realities. So how do we avoid these budget blunders? Start by tracking all your expenses, big and small. Understand where your money is going. Then create a realistic budget that accounts for all your spending and saving needs. And most importantly, be ready to adjust your budget when life throws you a curveball. Having a budget is like having a roadmap to your financial goals. Make sure your roadmap is accurate and up to date. It's time to stop blundering and start budgeting. Your future self will thank you. We've covered a lot of ground today, so let's do a quick recap. We kicked things off by addressing the monetary missteps. We learned that living beyond our means and ignoring financial education can lead to serious financial pitfalls. Remember, knowledge is power, and a solid understanding of money management can help you avoid these missteps. Next, we ventured into the debt dilemma. We discussed how easy it is to fall into the trap of high interest loans and credit card debt. The key takeaway? Be smart about your borrowing. Avoid unnecessary debt and always have a clear plan for repayment. We then tackled the savings shortfall. We highlighted the importance of building an emergency fund and saving for retirement from a young age. No matter how small, regular savings can make a big difference over time. So, start saving today, even if it's just a little bit at a time. 
After that, we dived into the investment ignorance. We emphasize that investing isn't just for the rich. With a little research and patience, anyone can make their money work for them. Remember, the earlier you start investing, the more time your money has to grow. Lastly, we examined the budget blunders. We identified the common pitfalls of not having a budget, overspending and not tracking expenses. Remember, a well-planned budget is your financial roadmap. It guides your spending, saving and investing decisions. Now it's your turn to take action. Start by educating yourself about finances. Make a budget, stick to it and start saving no matter how small the amount may seem. Be wise about your debt and make a plan to pay it off. And finally, consider investing as a tool to increase your wealth over time. Remember your financial future is in your hands. Make the right decisions today for a secure tomorrow. That's all for today's video on the money mistakes millennials should avoid. You've been fantastic sticking with us through the monetary missteps, the debt dilemma, the savings shortfall, the investment ignorance, and the budget blunders. We hope this journey has been as enlightening for you as it has been for us. We're here to provide you with the most practical and creative financial tips, and we sincerely appreciate your support. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Sharing is caring, so don't hesitate to pass this along to friends and family who might benefit from this information. And remember, we're constantly churning out more content to help you stay financially savvy. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss an episode. Your journey towards financial independence starts here, and we're thrilled to be part of it. Thank you for spending your time with us today. Remember, the first step towards financial independence is awareness. Stay smart, stay informed.